breaking news to begin this morning. A break in a case detectives have waited 22 years to get. And later this morning, police and sheriff's deputies will announce they have found someone they believe is responsible for murdering three Spokane women in 1990. We haven't been told the names for sure, but our news archives show three previously unsolved cases from that time period. Prostitutes who were killed and not connected to convicted serial killer Robert Gates. Within three months of each other, Yolanda Sapp was found dead in the 4100 block of East Upriver Drive. Nikki Lowe was found in the 3200 block of South Riverton. And Kathleen Brisbo was found along the river near Trent and Pines. Their killer was never identified, but will be today. In the story you will see first on KXLY 4, our Jeff Humphrey is live under the Green Street Bridge where one of those women was discovered. Jeff. And Robin, this new suspect realized what a lot of serial killers have determined over time, and that is that women who work as prostitutes make excellent victims. Ladies who will get into anyone's car disappear for extended periods of time and then wound up dumped here along the Spokane River. Each of the victims from the 1990 were found shot to death during a four month stretch from February to May. The same gun was used to kill two of them and a lack of shell casings found at the scene suggested they were murdered somewhere else. Some of the victims were nude and without their belongings and detectives believe the remote spots here along the river were the killer's dumping ground. Now a joint investigation between the Spokane Sheriff and police departments have identified a suspect. Prosecutors have kept sealed a search warrant that we believe was used to take a sample of the suspect's DNA to reconfirm his connection to these crimes. That suspect is already in custody and since the killing has become a transgendered person, Robin and Derek, we will know a lot more about this case when that search warrant becomes unsealed later on today. Reporting live along the Spokane River, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4. And Jeff, after all this time, how are we making a connection now? Well, it seems like it's possible that this person has been arrested somewhere else for some other crime. That person was convicted and as a condition of that conviction was required to give up his DNA. That DNA goes into a national DNA database called CODIS and perhaps that's where they got a hit. We believe the warrant that's been sealed up in today was intended to go back and recheck and make sure that the DNA matches the person they believe is responsible or it could be something entirely different, but prosecutors have been jealously guarding this investigation, so we know it is very significant. All right, Jeff, thanks so much. As he mentioned, investigators are expected to brief the rest of the media about this today, but remember, you saw it here first. Stay with KXY4 and KXY News Radio 920 throughout the day and online on KXY4.